Hey everyone, welcome to uh, Stefan Eats. In this video, you will witness a small sample of some of the incredibly diverse African food you can find in Vancouver. Watch until the end as we dive into four fascinating yet inexplicably overlooked food from South Africa, Tanzania, Ethiopia, and Ghana. Once again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Also, hit us up with some of those comments. We'd love to hear from you. Hope you enjoy this video. We got what's called the uh, biltong. It's kind of like a uh, South African jerky. Uh, we chose the hunter's biltong. There you go. So yeah, uh, like I said, it's all beef, and uh, this is the one that's just a traditional biltong. Now look at the marbling too, right on there. So that's pretty cool. And trust me, we tried this. Don't ever get beef jerky at a gas station or anything like that anymore. This is what you want. If you want beef jerky, this. You're in love, it's really good. It's not super dry, it still has a little bit of fat on it. Anyways. Mm. And I love, I love just all the pepper and spices on it. This is the same thing, except you put chili on it. These ones we found, these are drier, but the flavor is amazing, it's so good. Kilimanjaro snack house and catering. This is a uh, yeah, East African food. I think it's mostly Tanzanian. Lots of Indian influence, which is really cool. So it's a food I haven't really tried that often. So very excited for this one. So uh, we just got a couple of dishes. This looks amazing. It's, yeah, it smells really good. It looks like we have the uh, samosas over here. I think they're beef samosas. We have what's called a mogo, uh, which should be cassava. And I'm gonna have to remember what these bowls are called, these guys over here. Anyways, I'm just gonna break it open. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Nice. It's like a little uh, meatball right there. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm. The exterior is really crispy. The interior has a bit of a nice acidity to it. Uh, the meat texture is a little bit soft, and I think the move, yeah, for sure, uh, if you put it in the coconut, it'll just add an extra layer to that. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's a good combination. Very, very good. I just remember, I think these are the kebabs. Oh, I'm just gonna put more in the sauce right over here. Yeah. Sava fries mogo. Now look at the interior, it's really cool. It's definitely more thick, so it's more dense than a potato. I could, I could dip this uh, this cassava right in there. So, that just seemed like the natural thing to do, honestly. Mm. That's gonna be good, yeah. Mm. That sauce, wow. Mm. <laughs> Beef, samosa. Let's just do a bit of an opening test here. I think with this one, maybe a bit of the freshness of the carrots will go well. So I'm just gonna construct this little bite right over here. Put some of these carrots right on top. And then that's, uh, that's kind of what I'm gonna do right there. Mm. Mm. Cool beef, nicely spliced. A very tasty onion too. Mm. And those kind of sour pickled carrots really add a nice complexity to this. Not too spicy, you get lots of meat. Yeah, the onion, definitely taste the onion in there. Okay, now, this is really exciting to me. These are, uh, this is uh, the mandazi that we're gonna dip into this beautiful pigeon pea stew. And this is 
definitely a staple of uh, many East African countries, uh, pigeon peas. You'll find it in many dishes. So this is the kind of fry bread. Uh, we call it like a donut, but it's probably more like a, yeah, more like a fry bread. Okay. Mm. Oh yeah, that's really good. It's so rich, it's so creamy, very coconutty. I'm gonna try some of those peas. Yeah. I think it's mostly coconut cream in there. A bit of acidity, and then you have the nice texture of those uh, pigeon peas. Let's go on to the chicken curry here. <laughs> Yeah, this looks really good too. Wow, look at that sauce. Now, I did have a bit of the preview of the sauce uh, with these uh, cassava fries and yeah, I'm very excited based on that little taste that I just had. Guys, let's just try the sauce for now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, I like that a lot. Rich but light at the same time. Not too, uh, not spicy at all. Mm. Uh, but again, it's just a beautiful creamy texture right there. I'm just gonna grab this. Put it right on the chicken and just grab it right from the chicken itself. Yeah, there you go. Oh, look at that. Chicken came right off. And of course, what you have to do is just sauce it a little bit. So look at that. Look at the sauce. All right, so this will be my bite right over here, my lovely curvy chicken bite. Chicken's beautifully cooked. A little bit like an Indian curry, but definitely very different than most Indian curries you would get. It is definitely more subtle, but just look at the chicken though. So, oh, look at this piece of chicken. <laughs> just big giant pieces of chicken. Beef acne. Now this is kind of like a halal dish. This one has beef in it, which is really unique. Uh, so anyways, I'm gonna grab just a nice big bite with the beef. Ah, there you go. That's the one I'm gonna look for right there. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Very rich. Yeah. Mm. You get a bit of this beef fat taste to the rice, uh, which is really nice. And then, once again, very subtle after that. Uh, definitely some nice spices in there, but no spiciness at all. Uh, beef is really tender and uh, comes with, it looks like these kind of uh, either cassava or potatoes, probably potatoes. I'm gonna let David eat a little bit and uh, we're gonna enjoy this meal because uh, we're gonna try to eat everything while it's still hot. So yeah, he brought all the dishes and then he actually just put them all on the injera bread. Now the injera bread is a very unique staple of uh, Ethiopian food. Uh, it has a kind of sour taste, but what it does really well is it soaks up all the uh, beautiful uh, juices from uh, all the meat. Let's take you around what we got here. Uh, this is the tartar right over here. Uh, this is uh, should be the fish and then this should be the uh, lamb. Uh, so anyways, and then all the vegetables are kind of uh, spread. So I'm gonna grab uh, one bit of fish right over here. Oh, look at that right there. Yes, lovely, perfect. And, whoa, it's already dripping into my hands, but that's perfectly fine with me. Fish is so flaky, uh, perfectly cooked. A little bit of a sweetness, the spiciness, very well balanced. Oh. Mm. 
Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good bite. Mm. Yeah, the fish is really well done. Mm. For people who are not used to this type of bread, just look at the texture of it. The holes right in there are what really make it special. That's what really grabs onto the sauce. Let's go into the lamb right over here. Oh, oh, it broke through, but it's okay. So we got a bit of lamb and uh, let me just grab it. Let's make another bite. Let's get another bit of lamb. Oh, and the pepper right there. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like the sauce on this one too. Similar a little bit to the sauce that's used on the fish, but you get a bit of more of like the deep uh, meaty texture uh, of the lamb. Now this is the interesting one over here. This is a tartare. This is gonna be raw beef, uh, and it should be mixed with a spicy sauce. Me being a Frenchman, I'm always, always excited about tartare. So let's dig right into this right over here. Oh, and it's cold already. Look at this big, beautiful, raw beefy bites. I really like that. Mm. Oh, yeah, it spiced really nicely. But what's cool is you get this buttery uh, bite. So I think they do mix it with butter and they might cook it a little bit. It is warm. So I'm not sure if that's from the injera or if they just heat it up a little bit. But, oh wow, honestly, in terms of my favorite right now, it might be between the fish and the uh, raw beef. I think they're both really good. Uh, what is really great about Ethiopian food don't forget about the veggies. The veggies are also really good. But, yeah, look at that. Nice. Mm. Oh. oh, that's solid. Very fresh. I can tell there's some, uh, yeah, some onion in there. These are lentils, if I'm not uh, mistaken. So look at this. Oh, make a little burrito. There you go. Mm. Ooh, definitely paprika in there. Yeah, you can taste it right away. Very smoky. Just because we're here, I think we just have to do a combination of everything. <laughs> I'm gonna do one piece of fish, or two. So we'll do a bit of bean. Right there, some lamb. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, there you go. This meat, the lentil, some corn, <laughs> and yeah, let's get some of these guys. These should be uh, some uh, cabbage. Oh, that's really good too. Mm, I like that. And of course, some greens. So we have all the food groups in here. <laughs> yes. I think it'll taste pretty good, honestly. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to tomorrow. We're in Surrey today and it's really hard to find West African food in uh, the whole Vancouver area. So it took a little bit of searching and there are only about two places uh, that have uh, West African food. Now this place, I think it's from Ghana uh, or the food is mostly uh, Ghanaian. And I'm gonna be very excited to try this place. This will be our last place we try today. So we're just gonna walk around the corner and uh, check this place out. I think it's only takeout, so might have to do a back of the car series again. <laughs> and eat on the back of the car. Or we can find the park. But yeah, we'll check it out. Let's go. Welcome back to uh, the back of Stefan's Ferrari. So this is gonna get a little bit messy. Anyways, this is the peanut soup with the beef. And that color right there, I'm pretty sure it might be palm oil. Gives it a beautiful, rich uh, color, and especially a very orange uh, tint to it. 
We do have cutlery, but that is not how you eat this. Normally you just eat this whole thing with your hand. All you do is you form it into like a ball or just form it like this. And then just, you can either just form it into something that you're gonna grab the meat with, um, or you can just form it into a ball and just dip it right inside. So I'm gonna grab a bit of this beef right over here. Whoa, oh, it's very hot. Yeah, oh, super hot. <laughs> oh, my finger's burning. sauce is so amazing wow the beef is very tender mm. and then yeah i think it is palm oil and then you've got this beautiful rich uh, spicy complex broth uh, that just satisfies all your cravings a really nice flavor and the creaminess is just beautiful jollof rice another dish that's very common in that area you have uh, the chicken looks really sauced up really nice <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. And of course here we'll have oh look at these plantains. Amazing. Yes, perfect. I think you have a bit of salad right over here. Yeah, a little bit of a coleslaw. This is calling my name right here. So let's try a bit of this rice. Looks like there's a bit of a spicy kind of sauce right on top there. And let's just uh dig into this chicken. Oh, oh yes. Whoa. <laughs> Wow, look at that. That looks amazing. Oh, look at just the way it breaks apart. Perfect. Oh, yes. So, try a little bit of the skin right here. And a little bit of the sauce right on there. Yeah, look at that bite. Oh, <laughs> take two. <laughs> Yeah, I love the chicken. The chicken's really tender. Uh, that sauce isn't too spicy on top of it, uh, but the beautiful, there's a great balance of a, a sweetness and a whole bunch of other spices in there. Oh, it's really good. I love this dish too. And I'm gonna try a little bit more with the rice. Oh, man, this guy. Hey, man, go away. The rice is very flavorful and very nutty. I love the texture of the rice too. Uh, look at this beautiful red sauce on top of it. Ooh, I get a bit of spiciness after that too. But it almost reminds me almost of like a bit of like a Cajun dirty rice almost. But the flavor of that chicken is great. Uh, the rice is actually more spicy than the chicken itself. Now, I uh, can't forget about the plantain. So let's just try a bit of the fried plantain here. Mm. Not sure if a bit of spice on there. But yeah, really well done plantain, which you can also dip into the wasp, maybe? No? Okay, cool. <laughs> Wish I can dip into the sauce. <laughs> mm. Mm. I don't know if that's where you're supposed to do but Dip the plantain in the soup. Uh, that's gonna do it for uh, this epic uh, African food video of Vancouver. If you enjoy our videos, hit the bell icon, subscribe, like, and comment in our videos. This was a really fun video to do. Uh, there were many different types of cuisines that I wasn't really used to, so it was really cool to do this. Anyways, we'll see you very soon. Ciao.